crafty friends, it's Melinda from MyPaperCrafting.com and today I'll be sharing with you how I made this pretty little home decor project featuring some Joy Claire stamps on some clear sticker paper as well as a sentiment, an SVG file that I created and um, putting it on this uh, frame that I picked up at the craft store. So uh, let's go ahead and jump right in. Okay, so here we are in our design space, and I had opened up a new document. So now we're going to go ahead and upload our SVG. And I'm going to browse into wherever you have it, and there's, and it will drop in, and you can see it here. And so then you just go ahead and you can um, tag it. And click Save. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and insert it. And it drops in. Now, in my case, I'm working on a 9x7 canvas. So I want to go ahead and make mine a little bit smaller. So I'm just going to go ahead and put in 7.5 inches as my max width. And you can see here that it is in two separate parts. And you can look over to your right and you see there's the top layer and the bottom layer. Now if you wanted, you could ungroup this. Now I'm right clicking and then left clicking the ungroup and now it's separated the two and you can actually move them apart. So if you wanted to do something different with this, like have it cut right along the line, you could. Um, but we're gonna go ahead and undo that. Move, okay. And so this is where you could also take that top layer and you could change the color of it. You could um, make it a different color for whatever your project is. And uh, I'm, I just want to keep mine like a dark gray, not quite black, but maybe a, a dark gray. Okay, so that's the color I'm going to go with. Now, in order to do this as a print and cut, you have to select both layers and then come down here to the lower part and, um, of your menu and hit flatten. Okay, and now it's going to look like that other layer disappeared, but if you removed, well, I guess it doesn't help, but you can see it if you look closely with the grid lines, you can see that it's still there, that bottom layer. So we have flattened our image, so now we're going to go ahead and print it and then cut it. So we're going to click the Make It button. It's going to go ahead and drop that onto a sheet and you see there's a box around it and that box is what will help the Cricut read where exactly to cut. And again, because the background is white, you can't necessarily see it, but it is there. So let's click continue and we're going to send this to the printer. So I'm going to go ahead and print this out on some sticker paper and cut it out but let's just say for right now that I've already uh, printed it so just so you can see the next part of, of what happens here so then this is where you would select your different materials so I have sticker paper here so then you would load it onto your Cricut after it's printed and cut and then once the mat is loaded with your material, then you can, if you want, do the fast mode, and then you go over to your Cricut and press that button. So we'll go ahead and do that. Okay, here is my um, image printed, and I'm moving this around so you can maybe hopefully see the glossiness of it. 
but this is the clear sticker paper. So I printed it out in on my just a regular inkjet printer. So now I'm gonna go ahead and put it onto my Cricut mat and uh, and then we're gonna go ahead and cut it out. So to get started, I have my base, which is, um, it's got a stand. I wouldn't exactly call it a picture frame, but it's got a stand and it's nine by seven. And I got it as a three pack at Michael's and it's wood, like a washed wood. So here is my sticker. And I cut it out of my Cricut. Okay, and then I have my Joy Claire stickers, the images. Okay, here's my completed project. I think it turned out really nice and I'm just gonna keep this in my studio, but um, I will leave a link in the info section again where you can go pick up the uh, pretty stamp set, Doodle Flowers, that I used from Joy Claire. And you wanna check out the rest of the designs they have. They've got some amazing designs. And I will um, also be sharing the sentiment that I created, the SVG file. So um, you'll want to check out the info section for that as well. And if you like the video, please take a moment to hit the like button and to subscribe. I sure would appreciate it. And uh, don't forget to visit my blog post um, on the Joy Claire site where you can get the free SVG. And um, again, thank you so much for stopping by. Until the next time, you have a wonderfully crafty day.